Now a soldier's story. The 60th anniversary of the D-Day invasion of Normandy is three weeks from today, and each of the veterans from that day has his or her own story of bravery and heroism to tell. But there's one vet who has a story unlike any other. Is NBC's Preston Mendenhall. During Russia's Victory Day celebrations, among the Russian heroes, there was an American face in the crowd. Sixty years ago, Joe Byerly, then a 20-year-old from Muskegon, Michigan, parachuted into Normandy the night before D-Day, a covert operation to prepare for the land invasion the next day. But three days into the mission, Byerly was caught by the Germans. He was reported killed in action. His family held a memorial. I said, they can't be. I'm Joe Byerly. Four months after he disappeared, Byerly got word home that he was alive, but far from fine. Tortured and starved, and now in a prison camp in Nazi-occupied Poland, his belligerents getting him in trouble with the Gestapo. You've never lived until you've been interrogated by the Gestapo. But Byerly escaped, and he came across Soviet troops fighting toward Berlin. I knew two Russian words at that time. Matikonsky Tavadish. American comrade, he told the Russian tank commander, a woman, and she took him in. I said to her, I said, I want to go with you to Berlin and defeat Hitler. Wounded after weeks of fighting, the Soviets sent him to Moscow. From there, Byerly made his way back home to Michigan. Joe Byerly is the only soldier to fight for the Americans and the Russians. He's a hero in both countries. <laughs> Byerly is a celebrity in Russia these days. Over the years, Russian and American leaders have filled his chest with medals. Thank you, Mr. Byerly. Thank you. Thomas Taylor wrote a book about Byerly's strength and luck. He was hit hard, but, you know, he survived, and by all probability, he shouldn't have. There's somebody up there looking after you, and it wasn't my time to go. As the 60th anniversary of D-Day approaches, a thousand World War II veterans die every day. And I'm going to live to be 90, and then I'm going to take it year by year. An uncommon hero who fought one war for two nations, still living life Thank against you. the odds. Preston Mendenhall, NBC News, Moscow.